Oh, hey guys, welcome to another video of mine. And the topic for today is orthographic projection. And this is a pretty difficult topic to understand. So, what I want you to do is focus on everything I say and I'll go through it very carefully so that you can understand, okay? Um, you should know what orthographic projection is before you go into these multiple choice questions. However, if you don't know as yet and you want to look through it briefly, um, we're going to go through what an orthographic projection is, okay? Alright, so what is an orthographic projection? As you can see in the picture below, this is a 3D drawing right here, or an isometric drawing, and an orthographic projection is a method of projection in which the object is depicted, okay? So let's say you have three colors, you have the green, the blue, and the red. So a projection is the viewpoint that you are going to draw the 3D drawing into 2D drawing, two-dimensional drawing. So you're transferring a 3D drawing into a two-dimensional drawing. So the blue points represents the surfaces that you will be able to see from this direction, okay? And this would give you one, two, three. And here you can see one, two, and three right here, okay? Um, in the red area, you see you have an L and then you have a triangle. Here you have the L and here you have the triangle. And at the top view, you have rectangle, rectangle, and then the square right here. Rectangle, rectangle, and then the square. And these services are mapped um, using parallel lines so that, so that they are in line with each other, okay? So basically, let me go over that again. An orthographic projection is transferring a 3D object into a two-dimensional plane parallel object. Okay? All right. All right. So first question says, the top, front, and bottom views align in this matter. Is it horizontally, vertically, according to the planar views? parallel to the frontal plane okay so as we know horizontal is going um, left to right across if you follow the um, the screen vertically is up and down up and down according to the plane of views is according to the object the surface of the object okay and parallel to the frontal plane is parallel um, to the plane that it is being projected on. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, the different views. Okay, so you have six views. If you have a 3D object, you have six views. You have the top view, which is right here. You have the back view, which is behind, where you won't be able to see in real life. You have the left side. You have the front, which you will be able to see. You have the bottom, you won't be able to see, and you have the right side. Okay. So you have six different views of the object, a 3D object that you can look at, okay? So keep looking at the question and while I go through um, the explanation, okay? All right, so you have these six views on the left side are depicted in two dimensions, okay? So you have the back view, which is this right here. You can see it here, the same shape, and this is what you will be able to see in line with the object okay straight ahead um you have the front view which is this view looking right here so you see the shape right here is depicted um horizontally and this is the front view you have the top view which is three rectangles looking down so you will see this one this one and this one and you'll see this this and this and you have the bottom view which would be a a rectangle however um, in orthographic drawing you will see the hidden line underneath so these lines that are at the top you're basically looking straight through the object however um, these lines would be shown in the bottom view but they won't be in a solid line as you can see there are dashed lines and these dashed lines are called 
hidden lines. Those on the inside are called hidden lines. So in real life, you won't be seeing the hidden lines, but for orthographic drawing and for information purposes, um, you have to put the hidden line for the bottom view, okay? And for any other view. All right, so um, the questions, the question asks the top, front, and bottom views align in this method. And if you look at the drawing, usually the top, the front, and the bottom view are what? Horizontal or vertical? They are vertical, okay? So that would be your answer. And this is the usual layout for um, any orthographic drawing, okay? All right, number two says, if a plane is parallel to the plane of a projection, it appears true size, true size meaning the same measurements, as a line or edge, meaning you're only seeing a line, foreshortened, meaning that um, the measurements are smaller, or as an oblique surface, meaning that it's at an angle to the true object, okay? So I'm gonna go through this. All right, so you have different surfaces. Let me pull up both of them. You have different surfaces. Um, if a plane surface that is perpendicular, to a plane of projection, it appears on the edge as a straight line. Okay, um, if you look at the two objects here, you have one that is in parallel projection, meaning that the object is being projected onto, let's say this is a wall and you have the light behind here. You shine the light and the object is being projected straight onto the wall um, in, power, in a parallel way, okay? So all the measurements that are on this wall are the same as the object itself, okay? So the question asks, if a plane parallel is, if a plane is parallel to the plane of projection, it appears true size. And that would be the answer because this object is appearing as the true size or the same measurements as the original object itself. If you look at the perspective projection, um, this would be at an angle, therefore the projection would be smaller or it would be foreshortened, okay? Because the measurements for this one are not true to size compared to the original object, okay? So like I said, if, the, if a plane is parallel to the plane of the projection, it would appear in its true size, okay? All right. Number three says the line pattern is composed of three dashes or this line pattern is composed of three dashes, one long dash on each end with a short dash in the middle. Is it an object line? Is it, is it a hidden line? Is it a center line or is it a phantom line? And you should know all the different lines or the main types of lines that you use in technical drawing and know the differences between them. But I'm gonna give you a couple that you can look at, okay? All right, so these are drawing lines. Drawing lines are similar to um, object lines where the, the object itself, the outline of the drawing is a solid line, okay? So this, this you would be accustomed to for every drawing, okay? This is the drawing that you, the line that you're gonna use to draw the object itself. Um, hidden lines, as I said in the previous question, are lines that are not seen on the surface of the object. They are behind um, the surface of the object. You have center lines, and this one is solid. This one is um, consistent dashes. Um, you have the center line. This um, shows the center of any object, and this is a line, a dash, and a line. And if you look at the question, it says it comes it's composed of one long dash on each end. So you have one long dash on each end with a short dash in the middle, okay? So um, the answer would be center because the phantom line has two dashes, two short dashes. The break lines are not um, an explanation or doesn't have the characteristics of what we need right here. One long dash one short dash in the middle and one long dash okay so the center line as you can see here again 
one long dash one short dash and one long dash so it would be a center line all right all right this is the plane upon which the top view is projected okay this is the plane remember the plane is the screen at which the original object is projected onto okay so this is the plane upon which the top view is projected so if you look at an example of a top view projection and this is similar to um, the previous drawing where we had the the face looking down so you're looking down onto this original 3d object and what you will see is the surfaces that are in gray okay so not the white surfaces but the the grayer surfaces you will see in in the plane and this plane would be horizontal to the floor plane okay so a top view plane would be horizontal and this is an example of what you would see looking down onto this um, piece of concrete or whatever material it is okay so you would see a square which is this square right here and inside the square you would see this um, little rectangle and this is what you have here okay so it would be a horizontal plane because um, you're looking um, parallel to the floor that is below okay all right so it would be horizontal all right an advantage of this type of view question five is that each view shows the object all the way through as if it were transparent so like i said before um in terms of um orthographic drawings you're basically looking um all around the object and you are able to show each side or each plane of the object in a two-dimensional way okay so you're basically looking through and seeing all of the sides and like in this drawing um, you have the six different views and you can depict them you can show them in a two-dimensional and you also have another example which is a house so you have six different views top back left right bottom and front and you can see all the different sides of the house so it's basically you seeing um, the house or you're seeing the object on the left as if it were um, transparent okay all right. so the act the answer would be um, an orthographic drawing because an orthographic drawing helps you um, see the whole of the object okay all right number six says this type of surface is tipped to all principal planes of projection and does not appear true size in any standard view okay so when they say tipped something is tipping means that it's leaning okay so um it does not this object or this type of surface does not apply to the the main um plane of projection so like i said as previous this is a different drawing but it's the same um parallel projection um the type of surface that they are looking for is one that is tipped and if you have a tipped surface that is not parallel to the original object it is called an oblique drawing okay so the oblique drawing is neither parallel nor at a right angle to a specific or implied line meaning that it's slanting or it's tipped and here you have an example of an oblique object so the projection let's say um my browser or my um mouse thingy um is the light and it's projecting onto the object itself whatever the shadow is projecting onto the plane would give you an a tipped or uh, an angular projection okay so that type of projection would be called an oblique projection okay all right um i hope you understood these questions this is just a brief explanation of orthographic drawings and orthographic projection and i hope you understood um, the questions that were asked um thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and i'll see you on the next next one if you have any questions um just leave it below 
in the comment section and also hit that like button as it gives um, others um, more information for their exams okay all right thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one take care bye